Greetings and salutations, viewers. This is I, Cybertron X, coming to you with a new review, and I'm doing it on the Bullzord. Uh, let's take a look at the Bullzord here. Uh, let's just rotate down. And here we have the Bullzord in his Bullzordiness. Um, rolls really well. And, um,. Excuse the setup right now. I'm still trying to find out the best way for this camera. Um, it combines uh, two ways with the Mega Zord. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you its Zord mode. So let's just go ahead and rotate back up. To transform this into Mega Zord mode, you want to take off the arms, fold down the missile launcher pods, and Peg them in here. Take off the gun. He can hold it. And open up this front case plate here. And there he is in his attack mode. Now, the Japanese version of this is actually motorized. So I actually wish, I've been looking on eBay for some auctions and I might be getting at least the Samurai Zord, the, the original Shinken, Shinken O form. But there he is, articulation, same old, same old. Let's go ahead and put him back in bull mode. And I can show you the one of the ways he combines with the Samurai Megazord. And hold on to your hat, folks, because this is actually a cool combination. All right, can you see this? You fold out the legs. And you put the Samurai Zord right there. That's it. That's all the combination it is. It's a carrier. And if you try rolling this, this will fall off. So that's plain and simple. It does that. Now, the other way the Bullzord combines to this, I just happen to have all 11 Zords here to my left. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to create the Giga Zord. Let's start by transforming getting this Megazord ready. Take off the sword. Let's go ahead and remove the arms. Take this one. Rotate it to that. Let's take the legs off. Take the helmet off. Fold the helmet down. Stick it. back in the dragon. Here, go ahead and pull that down, fold that out, fold that back. We've started the process. Alright, let's go ahead and set these aside and let's get the claws ord ready. Claws ord. Remove arms, but leave them in pincer mode. Set it aside. Remove hat, the head of the sword. Leave that separate. Separate shield piece. Separate the legs. Go ahead and peg the sword to here. Let's go ahead and fold this up. Fold the face down. So the other side. Legs. Rotate. Fold. 
to get a start, let's go ahead and peg these on to their spe specified pieces. All right, go ahead and connect that to that, that to there, that to there. All right, we have started. We have started with the Gigazord. All right, let's just set this to the side. And let's get the other Zords together and start its com 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 uh, combining form. You're going to need all four of these secondary Zords. Take the legs off the beetle, leave that on the beetle. Take this piece, let's just put it like that, and put it on the head of the beetle. Go ahead and peg that piece on. Swordfish. Remove the tail. Clip on its piece. Octopus. Remove and remove. Fold in. Leave that like that. Tiger. Remove tiger head. Place it on this part. And what I'm about to show is kind of funny. Peg this piece here. Yes, a tiger head and tentacles into the butt of the Zord. And fold these pieces like so. Like that. Get the tiger. Remove all of these pieces. And attach these pieces. So. And the squid pegs in like that and sit these aside because now we do the bullzord pop off the discs remove the gun take off the arms lift that lift legs fold these pieces out fold these pieces down all right, up here, you attach the claw zords, claws. Also, remove chest piece. All right, let's go ahead and set this piece here. Now there's little tabs here on the side. I'm just it down so you can see them. I'm not going to try rotating this because it. Let's try rotating this a little bit actually. There's tabs here. I don't know how well you can see them. They fold in and they peg on to what were the arm pieces to the main Megazord. Alright. The arms, the Bullzord, attach to the main Zord. Like so. The cannon. Let's go ahead and put the blue disc up here on the bull. Now what I like to do is leave a little bit of the, the, the head of the bull zord open. Because it actually, yes, I just took off the head of this. That's the thing about this, this zord. It is nothing but flimsy. I don't know how well you can see this, folks. Alright. 
As you can see, I connected the disc up here at the top. If I get out of frame, I'm sorry. I don't have a way of watching myself recording. All right. And over here, slide that disc onto the gun. It pegs in here. And, oops, here as well. All right. Not done yet. Let's go ahead and rotate to the back so you can see this. This piece connects back here. Like so. Now, I'm going to lift this up. On here, you want to go ahead and connect these pieces here. And here on the leg, you want to connect plug in the shield. All right. The arm pieces from the tiger peg in the arms of the bull. And here in the chest plate, in the front, you want to connect that, and then in the center, attach that. And there we go, folks. That is, let me get up so I can give you a full pan of this. And that is the Gigazord. And all of its combination. And yes, that does happen. It will not stay on. But there you go. That's the Gigazord. And if you want, I don't know why, but if you want... It can hold the sword. But as we say, this is the mode where it just falls on top of the monster and destroying it. So there you go. That is the Gigazord. I hope you enjoy. This is Cybertron X with the Gigazord going its full cluster naked bacon. Later.